you're putting in the reps, you're hitting new PRs, and you're dedicated in the gym. But when you look in the mirror, you feel like there should be, well, more. What if I told you there is a way to fight you in your nutrition that can give you an edge? For years, we are all obsessed with that 30 minute anabolic window. Slam a shake or you've wasted the workout, right? Well, what if that's not the whole story? And more importantly, what if there is a less stressful and more effective way to time your protein to support your gains? Today, we are breaking down four strategic moments to take your protein, backed by current science and most important, experience. By the way, if we didn't met, my name is Boris Kish. I'm a licensed IFBB nutritionist, coach, and a super heavyweight bodybuilding competitor in the category over 100 kilograms. Welcome to my channel. Golden rule number one. Take your protein immediately when you get up. Just think about this logically, my friend. You slept the whole night, okay? You slept for maybe eight hours, nine hours, even better, 10 hours for your muscle recovery. Your body is simply craving for the nutrients, especially for that protein, especially if you're going to the gym leg regularly, plus if you're doing cardio as well. If you skip it, you simply fucked up the rest of the day. It's as simple as that. Therefore, the first thing when you get up in the morning, you should be hydratizing yourself. You know, take, I would say, half liter of, or a liter if you're a big guy of liquid, and mix it with some good protein shake. I would say, personally, roughly, roughly around 50 grams of protein, and take one banana with it, maybe one spoon of peanut butter or almond butter, whatever you have near your hands for a quick breakfast, and it's going to change your day, you know, completely. Without that, you're simply wasting the whole day. It's as simple as that, because this helps your body in a constant muscle building state. Drop a comment below, when did you personally felt the best effect after taking the protein shake? Golden rule number two, have some protein before your workout, right? Because when you go and do your heavy workout, you do the muscle damage. You are, you know, breaking and damaging the muscle tissue. You're going into the catabolism state. That means that you're tearing your muscles down. You're not growing when you're training. You're actually going into the opposite direction. When you come home to recover, to sleep, this is when the muscle building process starts. But when you take some protein before your workout, that means when the damaging phase in the gym is going to start, the body is immediately going to have some protein already in the system to prevent that as much as possible. Pretty much this helps fuel your session and reduces muscle breakdown during the training. Who wants that? We don't want that. You don't want that. And if you got value from this, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's the best way to support what I do and I'll keep giving you real no-nonsense advice that actually works. Based on 25 years in this sport, of course, lifestyle. Golden rule number three is hitting that anabolic window after the workout. I mean, this is when the muscle is going to crave protein the most and this is when it actually makes the most sense during the whole day not that other timings don't make sense but this is when the body you know is really craving and absorbing like sponge i would say this is like the golden time for taking the protein because then absor it abs the body absorbs it all you know like a sponge and when you take that protein after the workout, you know, nobody who I know in the competitive, you know, era took that and didn't felt that amazing effect when everything kind of gets into the muscles immediately. I would say also roughly take around 50 grams of whey isolate, but this is rough guidance. Just take it immediately after you 
finish that workout. And as addition, after you come home, just focus on getting a protein rich meals within a few hours to maximize muscle repair. Golden rule number four. For an advanced strategy, have a slow digesting protein before bed. I would say protein caseine. So, you know, the body is going into the sleep state. You're going to be this, you're going to be offline for seven, eight, nine hours, depends how much time do you have. Okay, right? That means the body needs something to put into the muscle. And when you're going to the bed, when you're resting, when you're sleeping, this is when the whole body and the muscle cells are repairing. And imagine if you skip also that period, you're like eight hours without protein. This is one third of the daytime, right? Because this fuels your recovery and helps your muscle grow overnight. And if you're still not sure whether you're actually building muscle and if you have been doing most of this right, Click this video right here. I break down five clear signs that you're secretly already making gains. See you there.